Keeley, and I teach sixth grade reading and language arts. Is there a time when you wouldn't use a lot of words? The lesson today was the editing stage of an iMovie project that the kids um, read books together in a book club and decided on um, a certain scene or section of the story to turn into an iMovie. So today they were editing, adding um, music and effects and just trying to get it close to finished. <laughs> get some feeling, right? You get excited or maybe you get sad, but there's something about the movie trailer that makes you want more. You want to see that movie. So that's what your job is in producing this movie trailer is to get the viewer feeling a certain way. And you guys have already decided if you want it to be suspenseful or if you want it to be exciting or adventurous or maybe the book you read is very somber and you want to portray that that mood to your movie so the checklist i have four things that i want you to think about today the kids um, read books together um, in book clubs and they read about three or four different books and they had to decide which of those three four books they would do their movie trailer we had a storyboard uh, we had um, different planning sheets where we had them focus on mood and theme and what types of sound effects and visual images that they would want to include. So they had to map that out, draw little sketches of things that they wanted to search for. So all of that happened before they got on the computers and started to look for things. They had to have a plan. We want them to feel, or is this going to be confusing to the viewer? Okay, the next one. What are we going to do Some today, of the, the standards that we've been working toward are noticing okay, what authors do, do to communicate the message and to borrow some of those strategies or ways that authors do that and use that themselves. Also, what makes a good story is one of the standards that we're working on. So every good story has certain elements and they had to make sure that within their movie trailer, they had all of the elements of the story. That your music and your sound has to match the mood of the book, right? So that it's creating the, the response that you want. Okay, the next one, what's that say, Hunter? Use words that are powerful and create, your, and create visuals for the viewer. Yeah, words. Now, did any of you start to do voice using the microphone on your iMovie? Okay, good. So the goal of today's lesson was that the kids be deliberate about putting in certain effects into their iMovies, that they think about their viewer and they decide what kinds of things will make the audience interested in watching this or reading this book. So trying to get them to, to find those things that have lasting powers, the theme that, that they want the viewer to take away. I just want you to, to know that you don't have to talk the whole time. You, it may be effective to just use a couple of words and not give a, a lot of detail, but you have to decide that. Okay, the very last one. What does that say, Maddie? Be deliberate and make an impact on the viewer. Provide insight, insights. insights that connect the viewer with the story through la la lasting. lasting theme. Not dilemmas. dilemmas or challenges of the human existence. existence. Okay, we've been talking about themes, right, in books that we've been reading. We know that a theme is something that stays with the reader, right? It's that lasting power, that message that you get, that you take away from what you've read. So when you're looking at your videos today and you're get you're kind of to the end of this where you're just adding the bells and whistles to make it really cool, what lasting theme do you want to leave with the viewer? Okay, you have to decide that together. And when I say the word together, that means you have to work together to decide it. It can't just be one person saying, huh, this is what I think we need to, to do for this. You all have to agree 
and make that work. So let's have one person from each group get your laptop. If you need a video camera, you need to come see me. Hey, good. hey Brittany, what? should I record this as May because it's a picture of me? Yeah, Don't do that cool. one where you keep on just running. And start they screaming. broke into groups and began working on their iMovie trailers, and I just circulated throughout and helped and monitored as they worked. Where's that? There. That is not Mrs. Keeley, yeah. um, can you, I want to record something. Okay, there's a video camera. Cause, uh, no, we're not recording. Or just voice. Yeah. There's a microphone device. Oh, is it, is it recording as soon as you press it? I am mysteriously recording. Okay. Well, who cares? Okay. Still, like, it, it set him back from trying to escape, or for trying to find his chance to escape. Couldn't we put um like something that would be suspenseful to try to like that he was not able to like, before he could escape? Okay. So you, what you have to do is decide what is this the cover? Yeah. Okay, so you don't want to put that in there. Yeah. So you guys have to decide what, look at this, what part is going to draw interest, create suspense, or show some action section of your book. What do you want to show the viewer? What do you guys think? Is that a part that would be exciting or interesting to the viewer? Who is the viewer? Your classmates, right? What do you? What part of this book would you want to share with them so that maybe they would want to read it? The part with the rope. Well, years ago, I did similar type activities. It's kind of this is more like a fancy book report. So we did storyboards um, in years past when we didn't have the laptops that we have now and, and the cameras. Um, so the lesson is the same. I think that the way the kids get to express their understanding of characters and, and themes, um, this lets them be more creative and they're more engaged. Um, kids today don't like to pick up a pencil and write much. Um, we did have them plan and do some sketching before getting the computers, but if we had done the same thing and just said, here's a computer, go to it, they'd do it and they'd love it and probably get about the same product in the end. Um, so they, they get excited to come to school and know, ooh, we're working on the iMovie today. Um, and there's kids that wouldn't want to sit down and write and do a traditional book report that will do this and can show what they know because it's engaging and fun for them. I know. It's just like, fast motion. Slow mo. Oh wait, you're just like smiling. It's like, it's like not even fake. It's like way too fake. All right, here. Now we gotta like find another picture. Yeah. Okay, now do I like find a picture of um I'm gonna find a picture. Oh a funeral. Yeah. What? I have um students who would prefer to work with just their friends and on things like this I they they were grouped based on their reading ability. So they're with kids that they may not choose to be with. So there are times when that creates problems. And we've done a lot this year with cooperative skills. So at the beginning of this, we talked about each person's role and how to solve a problem and what are the steps in doing that. And they, they like to take the easy way a lot of times. So if they can let somebody else do it, they do. And I think working with smaller numbers, like they're mostly in groups of three, 
there's a little more accountability because you know only one person can be on the computer. So the other two have to have something else to do. So one of them might be writing um, lines and another one might be using the flip camera or the still camera. Um, it's just the, the group dynamics when you get the technology it feels like they have more of a purpose. Oh, ooh, I get to run the camera. I get to, you know, do the iMovie. Um, so you get them a little more excited than you would with, you know, sit and write a book report like we used to do. We don't want it to be This project gave them the opportunity to be creative to still tell me what they know and what parts of the book would be of interest to others and what the theme is um, because they got to search for pictures and, and do a different way. What's up Sawyer? I'm Becky Thatcher. I'm Huffman. You're doing it too, man. Writing isn't for everyone, so these kids are successful, they're excited, and in the end, they're going to have a, a product that's very similar to their peers, and their ability level may not be the same, but their product will be something they're proud of.